It's finally ready. The upgrade is complete. Thank you for not smashing into my walls. Look, I don't want to kill you. Thanks to social media and plenty of animation blogs, I know about Anna Mastermind. What I don't know is his motivation to bring you back to life and right here. Uh, hey, why aren't you attacking me once you entered in and before I monologued? Oh, I just wanted to be polite and let you finish talking. Oh. Okay, thanks. That's probably my friendly side talking. But my good side wasn't there when you probably killed Anna Mastermind! Okay, first, yes, I did kill him. And B, you killed cartoons too! Hey, I fixed that by altering the space-time continuum! Yeah, whatever. I came here to take what's mine. What? Look, please, just turn yourself in and we'll try to rehabilitate you and make you good again. Huh? How does that sound? Oh, I just slightly improved my EAS for safety. So, what do you say? I say, let's take this outside! My mommy! Enough! Clearly we're causing too much damage into the city! It's time to finally take this into space! <laughs> F 
this suit still can't fly, can it? Oh. No. Go ahead. Kill me. You know you want to do it again? No. I won't. Oh wait, and said I'm gonna do this. What? What did you do? Oh, I just locked you into my EAS. I... I can't move. Wait, why didn't you do this earlier? Oh, I first tried to make you peacefully turn in, but you attacked me, and I feel like I didn't have a good opportunity to do this. Look, here he is. You can take him and the suit. Just keep them both safe. Okay, Sergio, we got you covered. Thank you. Huh. I wonder what evil Sergio wanted to get from here. Huh. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Oh, hi there. How's it going? I'm just here for this episode of The Sergio Show. I got a special invitation to go try out some new groundbreaking technology in this cinematic awesome movie theater. Yeah. So let's begin. Welcome to the Cinematic Awesome Movie Theater. Please enjoy our high quality, massive scope, overpriced, and most unoriginal content we have ever distributed. <laughs> I love doing my epic movie voice. Okay, according to the flyer, this is going to take place in Theater Q. Ah! I'm ready for the cinematic experience. Welcome, Welcome to, to the experiment, experiment that will change enjoying our upcoming films forever. forever. Let the testing begin. Ooh! Ooh! First, to give you a literal full theater viewing experience, we've created a simpler, quicker take of the experience. Oh, cool. Is this going to be projection holograms or something? Ah! 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 My eyes! It burns! Ah! 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 Son of a... Oh, that's how the character is going to die. Oh, okay. Ah! The splitting headache! Ah! Second theater test, the motion simulator test. Ah, oh, sweet. I love motion simulator rides. I wonder how they... Um... Motion picture simulator test begin. Uh, wait. Final part of the theater test commencing. There was only three? 
a very special Fex theater experience test begin. Oh, what a beautiful day! I'm so happy I could. Oh wait, it's getting windy. It's starting to rain. What the? No, oh, no. It's an evil storm. We're doomed. Well, this guy selling his lines. The twister's here. Whoa! Oh, the horror! Oh, what's this? The epic snowstorm is here. Ah! Also, I farted. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was not necessary. What's happening? Oh, it's raining razor blades. Stop, 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 stop. What's the matter? Uh, it seems you're trying a teeny widowy bit too hard on trying to give me a good cinematic experience. When a really extremely good theater doesn't really matter that much. All you need is a good quality film in theaters and that's it. The public will arrive as always and have a good time at the movie theater. Okay, first, I'm an anonymous theater voice. I can't answer back. Somehow and how I'm answering back to you, it's a mystery. Second, the odds that Hollywood would make a number of good movies released a week for the rest of eternity is really proven beyond impossible. Also, more and more of the general public would prefer at-home online entertainment media than just traveling a significant distance just to waste 80 to 180 minutes of their time. And furthermore, okay, okay, I get it, jeez. Please complete the file and turn the file in on your way out. Uh, okay. Uh. Let's hope my next theater experience will be better than this one. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching. At least you didn't have to go through what I had to go through. Some painful tests. Just to enjoy a movie theater viewing experience. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Hey, how's it going? Hey everyone, welcome to The Sergio Show. I'm your, get this, talk show host. Yes, for this episode, I'm going to give this episode a more modern talk show feel. Because, you know, since this set looks like a talk show, but I barely use it like that. So, give a warm welcome to The Sergio Show Band! Oh wait, I can't afford my own talk show band. Well, what's a talk show without its host's right-hand man? A tighter running time. Anyway, here's my right-hand man, Juan! Oh crap, I just remembered. He's busy with something important so he can't appear in this animated taping. Oh well, at least we have our guest tonight. He's from the upcoming film, Nerd Blaster. So stick around for that. Now let's start off with a monologue! Now did you hear about this in the news? Since this is a cartoon universe, about 85% of the dogs can talk. But mostly they say, feed me, squirrel, and please don't neuter me. <laughs> oh, did you hear about this in the news? Serial mascot Captain Sugar Munchy Face has stepped down as mascot for his cereal because he's been secretly eating vegetables. 
This is the biggest serial mascot news since Chocolate Fruit Flamingo revealed that he wasn't a real bird at all! <laughs> now have you heard about this in the news? <sighs> Look, after those first two jokes I don't want to continue the monologue, I'm so sorry. Let's just move on from this. <sighs> Who knew writing a monologue could be this difficult? Okay, look, we're supposed to have a segment that's supposed to be funny and a comedian to do a bit, but we can't afford all. And this doesn't need to be an hour-long show. So we'll just transition to our first and only guest and call it a day. Here we go. Hey, welcome back to the show. Let's meet our first guest. He's in the upcoming film, Nerd Blaster. Please welcome... Uh, I just forgot his name. Welcome to the show! It's good to be here. Good, good. Now please tell me about your upcoming film. Oh, it's about a nerd who wants to be an action star, but is caught in a semi-real, semi-fantasy action film himself, and from there, tries to become a better person. Nice, nice. Now you don't have a trailer for it yet, but you're here to debut a movie poster, right? Oh yes, here's a theatrical poster for Nerd Blaster! Fascinating. Originally it was called something else, but after production, we changed it to this. It was directed by the Bowen Brothers, and it started production in mid-2014, and it comes out summer 20-whatever. Cool! Now you were someone that almost came out of nothing into this borderline popular movie star. How did this happen? Well, in early 2014, I met this awesome agent named Baxwell, and he is just the best. He helped me get this great gig. Oh! For some reason, we have a clip of you with him. Let's take a look. Well, here at Paxwell Agencies, home of the world's most famous celebrity clients, I'll guarantee that I will make you a star. We'll show you those high school students who insulted you and told you that you have no talent, that they are wrong. Okay, great. Wow, sweet. Now, in this part of the show, we're supposed to play a demographic capturing game for some reason, but I'm too lazy, so I'm just going to end this episode here. That's all for this talk show episode of The Sergio Show. Now, I'd like to thank Derek for stopping by, and thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. <laughs>
So he checked what he tripped over. And it was this thing that was just peeking off of the ground. So he pulls it out. And it's a skull slab pendant hybrid? Okay, fine. We'll go with it. It is the episode of the show after all. So he gets the biggest thumbtack he has. Puts it on one of the sides of the Sergio Studios. And then puts the skull slab pendant on it. He makes a cute little smile. Only to have that cute little smile go away. Once the pendant slab skull thingy starts coming to life with dark magic. Oh no! Oh. Should have seen that coming. Should have researched this before I did this. Said Sergio. But was this the narrator? Uh, I'll find out later. So, with the skull slab pendant's evil magic coming to life, it took over all of the Halloween decorations, and even the Sergio Studios house, to become... this Halloween decorations monster. And then, he spoke. Or she spoke. Apparently this thing cannot have an identified... I am the Skull Slab Pendant Halloween Decoration Monster! And yes, I did thought of it just now! <laughs> I will use my powers to take over the universe! Yeah! But, but why? said Sergio. Why? Yeah. yeah, you're right, why? Huh. I just got overwhelmed that I actually have a place in life. Because uh, some nonsensical backstory led me into being stuck into the ground for so long. And I'm really happy that you found me. And I am just happy that I'm placed here. Well, you're welcome, but it's not going to last that long. I'm just doing this for Halloween. Uh, Halloween? That, that one holiday nobody cared about millions of years ago? Uh, this something was made, but nobody cared about it this time. So, you're telling me this holiday is important now? Sergio chuckled. Huh. You know, after pondering about this for a second, maybe taking over the universe with dark magic and Halloween decorations is not that smart of an idea. Um, hold on, let me just uh, let me think back real quick. Mm. Oh yeah, I came from a different universe and dumped off here. Apparently you sticking out of the ground just brought me back to life and I can just go back to that universe now that you uh, somehow activated me with Halloween decorations. So you're going to leave? Yeah. You're going to take my Halloween decorations? I'll, I'll leave some behind. behind. Anyway. Thank, Thank you very much, much for activating me, you know. Maybe we'll see you next time, I don't know. Okay, okay bye. bye. And happy Halloween! Yeah! So the evil Halloween decoration slab skull pendant monster went away and stole some of Sergio's decorations. Oh well, I got them from a dollar store, so that's no problem. Anyway, Thank you very much for this heavily improv episode of The Sergio Show, which is a Halloween special somehow. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day and happy Halloween! As the narrator of this episode, should I sign off? No, 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 you're good. You're good. Bye. Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Geo Studios.
Hello and season's greetings. Welcome to the Sergio Show with me, Sergio Dominguez. As you can see, this is the Christmas special. So we have a great episode today, you guys. So let's get this show started with... What the gosh darn Skippy was that? Huh. Came from upstairs. Upstairs to the roof. Huh. I better go check it out. <clears throat> what? S Santa? Santa Claus? Is that really you? At this time on Christmas Eve? Well, I know I've been a good boy this year, but uh... Ho ho ho. Sergio, I'm glad I found you. I need your help. Help with what? Help me save Christmas. Ah, uh, okay, for this episode, I'm gonna... There's no time! Uh, wait, Santa, where are we going? Where we're going, we don't need. Organized street pavement. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Oh, so, what do you need me for? Where are the Christmas presents? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm going to make this quick. A group of Christmas antagonists have joined together to stop Christmas. Oh, huh? They consist of the following. The Grinkle. He's a mysterious storybook creature with a cunning smooth way of taking Christmas away from a certain special village. Mr. Scruple, a greedy old businessman. And the leader, the arch nemesis of dear old St. Nicholas myself, Mr. Chorizo Bro Man Chorizo. He's the evil man that's been after me even before it was Santa Claus. He's also the one that has the evil plan to join these two other people. Plus also this reindeer that we captured last time and this elf that betrayed me. They've all joined together for this evil plan to end Christmas by making Christmas happen tonight. Oh no! What? You see, they stole my huge endless sack of presents! And through a couple of these characters, created this magical dust that once contacted by normal human beings, causes them to be naughty and not care about Christmas anymore! So when the next time the holiday season comes by, no one in the world will care about Christmas. Thus, ending my career of doing this wonderful once-a-year economy-based holiday for free. Yeah, so that's bad. And I need your help. Okay, sure Santa. What do you need? I need you to sit there and look jolly and festive. Can do! Why? So what's the point of bringing me here? Look, you're actually Plan B, and the reason why you're Plan B is because Plan A recommended you here just in case. Oh! So, what's Plan A? Look, I'll get to you in a second on that one. First I need to arrive right there! Okay, we're here traveling hundreds of miles an hour and we're on track in front of my original sleigh, with my presence, with the group of the evil holiday antagonists. Okay, so what's plan A gonna be? Plan A is gonna be this. Santa? 
Was that my grandma? Did you just shoot my grandma out of a cannon? Did you just launch my grandma out of the sleigh into another sleigh while rushing hundreds of miles an hour in front of these evil holiday villains? Was that you just did? Ugh. Look, Sergio. As Santa Claus, I don't lie. Yet, in this case, I don't want to tell you the truth. So, you just sit there and relax. We're good. It's just remember, it's the holidays. <laughs> She's here. Get ready with the plan. Look, as your financial advisor, I think this is a good idea. Don't worry, I got this. You fuzzy storybook character, get the creature ready. As you wish, master. <laughs> Good thing as a guy who knows the man that can see all, I found a way to trick him to not see our evil plan as we're making it. Either way, this plan would have not have happened this far. Just run the sleigh. <laughs> Ah, oh, Sergio's grandmother. Nice to see you here. Yes, nice to see you again. Anyway, I'm glad you come here in this very festive Christmas time. We have a little surprise for you. He's back. And he's meaner than ever. Thanks to our elf here. No problem. <laughs> I'm really tired of Christmas. <laughs> now that she is distracted, we can continue with our plans. You have the powder ready, Elf. We'll get this thing ready soon, before we start the part of Christmas Eve to for the presents! Yes, if your financial advisor will just finance this whole plan, it is really working. Oh, it looks like the plan is not working. Uh, Sergio! I shouldn't do this this early, but... It's time for plan B. Oh good, so what's plan B? You take this funnel connected to a tube, connected to the sleigh, and place the funnel part of the tube over the heart and on your chest. What? why? What does it do? Just do it! Ho 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 ho! Okay. If it means saving Christmas. Uh, huh. Th this doesn't feel that bad. Oh, no. oh! Ah! Ah! It mildly stings! Uh, it kind of tingles and tickles. Ah! Oh, oh, ah! Oh, all according to my plan to stop Chris. What? Oh! 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 What? What is going on? No! <laughs> As we are about to take over Christmas. Oh! 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 oh, oh. What is this feeling I have in this weird part of my chest? Ah, darn it. I forgot to take away that weapon. Oh, great. He's using the weapon now. No. Uh, 
Lucina, what's going on? Uh... You see, Sergio, other than plan A, plan B was to capture them with the spirit of Christmas. And thanks to the recommendation of plan A, you do have enough Christmas spirit to save Christmas. Oh, okay, cool. I always loved Christmas. I never knew it was enough to stop these evil people from destroying Christmas. Well, for the sake of this episode, you have. Okay. And I think we've got them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it kind of worked. I got the rest here. I'm just going to mildly arrest them, get the presents back, check if they're okay, and then get back to my routine while it's still Christmas Eve. So, about plan A, she'll be okay. We got her. We're okay. She, she looks okay from this distance. So are you gonna just drop me off back? No, I'm gonna use this magic dust that's gonna transport you back to your home studio, safe and sound. Why didn't you do that trick while you were trying to pick me up? Oh, 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 oh. Sergio, it's because I wasn't in front of contact with you. That's why. We have to be in the same area, like, right now, to make this possible. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Sergio, for saving Christmas. And... Merry Christmas! Oh, ho, 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 ho! Oh, oh, wow. Now that was some Christmas adventure that I mostly spent time sitting and watching and did that thing with the tube chest thing. Anyway, thank you for watching this special Christmas episode of The Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day and happy holidays! Yeah! <laughs>
welcome to the Sergio Show, home Sergio Dominguez. Now let's get this show started with... Well, you're really unstoppable, yeah! Let's hope this safety chamber works! Crap, it worked well enough. Look, we've been through a lot together. All these three adventures, kind of. But I just don't want to kill you. I'm tired of doing harm. So for your sake, while I was in the chamber, I called the military, and they're here to come to get you. I don't know why you're evil. I know, I know, you're evil. It's because you're pretty much infested with some random supernatural evil things from that vending machine factory that is built on top of that, you know, thing. Uh, sorry about that. Just leave me alone. Well, crap, my desk broke. Now I gotta go and make a couple of calls so I can get a new desk later on. Good thing I have that warranty. Anyway, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I don't know much else for this episode, nor I don't know why the evil vending machine came back for a third time. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I just don't feel like harming anyone for now. It's just a personal decision of mine. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Warning. The video you're about to see contains the F word said once. Uncensored. Your discretion is advised. How's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Sergio Show. 
It's me, Sergio Dominguez. Whew. Um, uh, I, uh, yeah, once again, I didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, but I'm not going to go to sleep now, nor try to do things to stay awake. I didn't work the last time. So the awake version of me made a special list on my phone here. So I'm just going to do what the list told me. I'm going to see if I can execute it as best as possible. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Somehow, I don't remember why or what I did this for, but whatever. So, for this episode, I'm going to build a house of cards. Uh, okay, sure. Okay. Here are the cards. I know making a house of cards is um, very difficult, but most people, but with my case I'm sure, will do a weak ass job. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, I got these two cards here. Just need to stay steady, focus. If I took a nap, this wouldn't matter anyway. I would still not do that good of a job. Let's see. These cards. Uh, uh. Darn it! Uh. I don't know how long this is going to take. One and a half hours later. Uh, come on. Come on. Stand together. Mm. Ah. Ah. I wonder if I can cheat on this. Huh. The list on my phone says I can cheat. I can use glue and glue them together. Let's see, where's the glue? Ah, here it is. Uh, the awake version of me left this glue here. And, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. This is that really terrible runny glue. Ugh. Let's see, put this together. Ugh. Three and a half hours later. Oh my gosh. Why am I making this? Oh, because of whatever the season. Uh, Alright, just one more in this little piece. Oh. There! I think I did it. Yeah, I did. Wow. Oh, this is cute. And the best part is it's not going. To collapse. What the fuck? Uh, that's it. I'm ending this episode. I'm gonna take a big ass nap. Anyway. That's all for uh, this whatever is called an episode of the Sergio Show. Thank you and I'm sorry for making you watch this. And you know what they say, third time's the charm. <laughs> anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated look.
Sergio Studios. On April 27, 2008, the animation industry was changed. Not at all. Ed's Wood, the cartoonist man, does stuff in this crazy animated world. Hi. It's the Sergio Show! Welcome to another episode of The Sergio Show with me. Let's get this show started with... Look, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just remembering and gaining concern for my invention, the AARX. He was a really, really misunderstood machinery. Let's transition to where he is and activate him right now. Huh? Hey, how's it going? Are you okay? Look, I know it's been a rough introduction, but now I have time to help you. So for this episode, I'm going to train you into a possible automatic animator by having an animator training montage. Are you up for it? Sweet! Cool! Awesome! Splendid! Neato! Let's begin the montage. After we download this animator skills app and see if it does work on this robot by having that montage that we're going to have momentarily. So yeah. Okay, with all that montageable training you had, I think you're now ready to animate a rough cut of an animation test. Here's your exposure sheet, and your storyboard, and a flash drive with 10 megabytes of coffee. So, good luck! A long ass animation session later. Okay, now let's see what you got! Wow, that was brilliant! Great job, AARX! Now that you're good enough to animate, you are now competent enough to be my robot assistant and hang around with me somehow for some reason. Yeah! Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for AERX, for not trying to cut my head open this time, and for understanding more about the animation process this time. Anyway, I'm... Sergio the Human saying, have an animated day.
Sergio Studios. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi everyone. Welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio. Yeah, I'm a little bit late to my desk. I'm a little bit behind with something, but I'm going through a shortcut that I just found out right now, so I can get to my desk as quickly as possible. Ooh! Ah. Oh. What the? Oh! What's with this? Hmm... Looks like a storage crate. But for what? Oh, here's the form about it. <clears throat> this crate holds a collection of animation cells, storyboards, scripts, and recorded material for incomplete rejected concept of what many staff members from that animation studio deems as the worst animated cartoon ever. Wow. Being from the information on this form, the cartoon was made back in the 1930s to 1950s, and it was set back when this place was a generic warehouse until it became Sergio Studios. Huh. I'm surprised I didn't see this earlier since I've been living here for a couple of years. Hmm. Old animation material. I want to keep it! But I shouldn't. I should send it back. But to who? This form doesn't have the information on the animation studio. Unless it's in the box. But they ultimately never wanted it, giving it the reason why it's here in the first place. I don't know if it's something I should keep. I don't know if it's something I should think more about later. Huh. The worst animated cartoon ever. Is it a short? Or a full-length feature film? Is it even that bad if it was made in the early 1930s to the 1950s? Especially with all the bad animated content we've seen lately, could this really be bad now? Hmm. So many mind-blowing questions. That could be discussed on the next time of The Sergio Show! Thank you and sorry for watching this. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. Uh. Oh, God, I was holding in that burp the whole time. Jeez. Anyway, I want to deal with this thing later. I gotta go back upstairs and get ready for the next episode. <laughs> yeah. Sergio Studios. Hmm. Oh, hi, you audience members. Welcome to the Sergio Show. Yeah, especially me. Sergio Domangas. 
Sorry, look, I'm a little bit more deep in thought than usual because I have a lot more things going on in this show, this season, and it's just a lot for me to take. Evil Sergio coming back, EVM coming back, AARX coming back, the discovery of the old material that led to the worst animated cartoon ever that I just realized it's under the studio, and some other fifth thing, that all sounds overwhelming. It could lead to something epic or grand, and I don't know when it will happen. Huh. Huh. You know, this used to not be this complicated. Cartoons have always been this enjoyably simple. A cartoon would go through a physical or emotional obstacle while going through some jokes along the way for about six to ten minutes. The end. Rinse and repeat. <sighs> It's like the content creators and audience want to see something that's worth rewatching and anticipating. Oh well. Let's get this show started with. Uh, uh, ringing. Oh. Uh, uh, excuse me for a second, audience. Sergio Studios, how may I help you? Yes, hi. I would like to speak to Cartoon Sergio for a second. <gasps> Live action me? Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing great! Who is this? It's me! This is Cartoon Sergio. Oh, 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 hey, it is you! You sound different over the phone. Anyway, I'm here to be the ex machina of this episode. What? Listen, all the things that are happening this season are all my fault. What? Why? It's just a way to keep the show interesting and fresh. Not just for the audience, but for me, too. Wow. I didn't know you felt that way. Look, it's what I've told you before. I've tried to make you, and the show, really special. And that's what's great about it. Anything can and will happen. So, just enjoy it if you can. Oh, okay. So... What's gonna ultimately happen from all of this? As of this recording, I don't know. I'm still figuring it out as I go along. So, what I can say for now is, get ready, be careful, and good luck. Thanks, I needed that. Well, that's all I have to say for now. Goodbye and have an animated day. You're welcome, and have an animated day to you too. I know you just did that whole have an animated day pen thing because I just animated you doing that while talking to you over this trans dimensional animation phone thingy while I'm also animating it at the same time somehow. This somehow makes sense this episode, kind of. Anyway, thank you for calling. Well, you heard the cartoonist man, and that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Thanks to real life me for that moment. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios.